Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze, and welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe and technique for making homemade granola. Granola is one fantastic snack to be eaten any time of day. Pair it with some Greek yogurt, or just smash it from the bag. So join me now as I show you how I prepare. To begin, in a medium-sized stainless bowl, I like to add my honey and maple syrup. Then I will add my vanilla bean paste. Maple powder extra or maple extract powder and vegetable oil. We'll go ahead and mix this until everything is incorporated. Now, in a larger vessel, I have my rolled oats. I will then pour my honey maple mixture over them. And then go ahead and mix that thoroughly. We're looking to coat all of the oats with this uh, sweet liquid. Now that it is all incorporated, let's go ahead and spread this onto a sheet pan lined with parchment paper. Well, now that our granola has browned enough, let's go ahead and dump it into a large vessel again. And the reason we're gonna do this is when we go to mix all the other ingredients, the nuts, the fruits, and any other uh, elements that you wanna add to it, it's much easier to, to do it this way. However, do not let it cool like this because all this is still warm and everything in the inside is all insulated. It will actually get soggy on you. So let us add our nuts. I have some walnuts and almonds. This is optional. I, add, I am adding hemp seed. You could add wheat germ if you like. Uh, or some shaved coconut. And then last but certainly not least, are dried fruits. I have blueberries, cherries, figs, and apricot. So now, let's go ahead and gently fold everything together. And once we have it mixed evenly, we will go ahead and pour it back onto the sheet pans in a nice even layer and allow it to cool completely to room temperature. Well, there you have my homemade maple granola. Uh, feel free to add any mixture of fruits, nuts that you like. Uh, my hemp seed in this one is a nice touch. I usually use wheat germ, but just happen to not have any. Uh, you could add chia seed, flax seed. However, I would not toast them. I would put them in at the end when you add the fruits. And uh, select any nut that you like. 
obviously we do not want to toast it or bake it with the fruits because they will certainly burn from the sugars and because they're already dehydrated you know uh, there's nothing that no moisture left really to protect them um, and they would end up coming out as hard as gravel and nobody wants that in their uh, granola uh, this is a fantastic topping for ice cream and obviously parfaits with uh, Greek yogurt. It's a fun thing to make at home with uh, family and children. So try yours. Let me know how it turns out. Thank you very much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And please, you like what you see, subscribe and uh, hit that bell and get notified every time we post. And uh, until the next time, you invite.